Hello dear students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting further, I would like to say something. Please watch video completely. Sit with copy pane. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed further. Although you have facing any problem or difficulties, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you. Here is the question. A string with one end fixed on a rigid wall passing over a fixed frictionless pulley at a distance of 2 meter from the wall has a point mass capital M equal to 2 kilogram attached to it at a distance of 1 meter. From the wall, a mass small m 0.5 kilogram attached at the free end is held at rest so that the string is horizontal between the wall and the pulley. The vertical beyond the pulley if the speed which the mass capital M will hit the wall when mass M is released is. Dear student, this is the first question which is asked by the students and it is very interesting question. You can see that this whole system is hanging in air and this pulley is connected with another system, another wall or stands. Okay, and this string is connected with this small block. Let's say the name is P and Q. Its mass is 2 kilogram and its mass is 0 0.5 kilogram. And here the distance is 1 meter. Total distance from the pulley is 2 meter. So remaining distance is 1 meter. When it is hold, then after some time it is released, then this wall, this block comes down and hit to the this rigid wall and we have to find out the speed of this block. Now after releasing this block, it just like hanging means it loosen, then it is striked to this wall and this small block goes up to the upside. And so therefore this distance, this distance we have to find out by using Pythagoras theorem. You can see that this is square equal to AB square and this is AC square. So we get this distance is root 5. Now you can see that this block goes to upside. That means your height is root 5 minus 1 because we have to get this height. Now we have applying laws of conservation of energy. Here you can see that when initially the block is here, it means its potential energy is equal to here the potential energy is decreases and here the kinetic energy of this block small block is increases its potential energy is also increases and along with this block b its kinetic energy is also increases i repeat it again here the potential energy of this block is decreases and this energy convert into kinetic energy where we have using kinetic energy and potential energy of increasing to this block and only kinetic energy is increases. It means mg and what is height initially? Let us consider this is the ground level. So here the distance is 1 meter. So here we can take 1 and kinetic energy of this block m. Let us consider that its speed is v square and here it's a potential energy mg and what is the, uh, rising up to the height its height is root 5 minus 1 why root 5 minus 1 because root 5 is this distance and because this rope if this rope is loosened it means here the length of this rope is decreases so now root 5 minus 1 its potential energy and uh, its kinetic energy is small m and v square same because same velocity they are travel with same velocity now what is the mass of this block uh, 2 here 2 kilogram is given g equal to 1 by 2 and uh, here 
m p square and this half m capital v square put together here the mass is 0.5 g and root 5 minus 1 now 2 g here half and v square get common 2 plus 0.5 0.5 is the mass of this small block and uh, plus 1 by 2 g and root 5 minus 1 okay we have rewrite because uh, 2g 1 by 2 v square get common 2 plus 0.5 plus 1 by 2g and uh, root 5 minus 1 is it clear because this potential energy convert into three form here the kinetic energy of this block <coughs> increasing kinetic energy is increasing here also and potential energy along with this potential energy also increases of small block okay so here 2g 2 get lcm and multiply you will get 4g okay v square 2.5 and g root 5 minus 1 <coughs> transposing this term g root 5 minus 1 equal to v square upon 2.5 here g get common 4 minus root 5 minus minus plus 1 upon 2.5 equal to v square here we have given the instructions that g put 9.8 so we have put here 9.8 2.5, 4 and 1, 5 minus root 5. Decimal, decimal cancel out. Then v equal to root 98 upon 25 turned 5 minus root 5. Here, uh, 98 can be written as 2 into 49. Okay, and 49's roots is 7, 5, and here is 2 remaining. And uh, five minus what is the value of root five? Two point two three. Two point two three. Substitute here. V equal to seven point five. <coughs> This is the subtraction. Two point seven seven. After solving, we will get three point two nine meter per second approximately. I hope so you understand this question thank you for dear students staying till the ends of this video and i know that very well you are working very hard and if i will be a part of your success journey that it will be my pleasure but when more and more student will join with your success journey then it will be very great things thank you once again take care